Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to be doing a UGC checkpoint tutorial. So, if you're confused on checkpoints, which I know many people are, this is a little tutorial. So, when the mission starts, this is what your first monitor is going to say. In, in advance, I'm going to apologize for the quality. I know it is not that great. I'm recording this through my uh, laptop webcam, so this is the best I can do. Sadly, I'm a poor kid. Anyway, so... Your first monitor starting in a mission should say when mission starts and no checkpoints have been triggered. That's what it should always say at the very beginning of your mission. Now, I'm gonna, after this, I'm going to have it say hi. That's just what I'm going to do for this mission. I'm going to have it say hi. Then after that, I want it to trigger a checkpoint, which in this case I named checkpoint 1. Now over here, this is just what I'm going to use so that I can just show you how the checkpoint works. So as soon as I enter this little perimeter over here, I'm going to have it fail the mission so I get to restart. So, mission starts, no checkpoints have been triggered, say hi, trigger a checkpoint. So right after I read hi, it's going to trigger a checkpoint. Now, now here's what I want to do. After this, after I activate that checkpoint, I'm going to set the monitor to say when mission starts and the current checkpoint is checkpoint 1. This is tells that whatever happens after this monitor is only going to happen if the mission starts and the current checkpoint is checkpoint 1. That's, all it's, that's the only reason that this is going to happen. So I'm going to connect this to a brief and have this brief say bye. Then I'm going to have it trigger another checkpoint. In this case, I'll be naming checkpoint 2. So, let's let's test it. So this is where that first monitor comes in. It's going to say hi in the bottom corner. Then when I press triangle, it's going to go away. Now once I end the mission, Since I triggered that checkpoint, the second monitor that I placed is not going to have it say bye, because checkpoint 1 was triggered, and that's the only reason that this happened. Now, let's do another example. What if, when the mission starts and the brief says hi, but then it's going to tell you want to defeat this militia. And then you want it to activate a checkpoint. So once default group is incapacitated or defeated, I want something to happen. Then I want it to say bye, for example. But after this brief, I also want it to activate a checkpoint. So, when the mission starts and no checkpoints have been triggered, then it says, brief says, hi, trigger a checkpoint. After that, once you defeat this militia that I have over here, I want it to say, bye. But wait, even after I kill the militia, what if I die? Will I have to kill the militia again? That's where a combiner comes in. You're going to put a, insert a combiner right here. Have another monitor that says when the mission starts and current checkpoint is checkpoint 1. Which I forgot the name. What this is saying is that this buy is only going to show up once default group has been incapacitated or defeated or the mission starts and checkpoint one is the current checkpoint therefore if you somehow die after defeating the militia it'll still do this even though you check activate the checkpoint but if you don't die and you still defeat the militia it'll still show this let's test it Oh, 
See, it says hi. As soon as I'm done reading it, it activates the checkpoint. Therefore, when I defeat the militia, it says bye. Now, if I were to kill myself, or end the mission, it'll still say bye, because I have that combiner there saying when the militia is defeated or when the mission starts. See how it still says bye in the bottom corner. This concludes our checkpoint tutorial. Please subscribe and next few videos I'm going to be recording your UGC missions. So please send me some missions th via infamousthegame.com. Thanks everyone and see you in the next video.